Hey what's up guys and welcome to this week's Team of the Week predictions. Now I know not too many people will care about Team of the Week this week with Team of the Season being out but you've got to think about it logically because Team of the Season is out it does make these Team of the Week players much cheaper which obviously is pretty awesome. Well I say it's awesome, it's good if you want to buy these players but if you pack them it's maybe not so great because they're not going to be worth as much as they would be in a normal week. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. Guys, in the comments below, let me know who you think will get an inform in this week's Team of the Week. And also, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be very much appreciated. So before we get into my predictions, here are the potential informs. These are the players who I think could get an inform in this week's Team of the Week, but haven't quite made it in to my Team of the Week predictions. Now, to be honest, I don't have too much to say about these players, just that they have a chance and they could feature in the Team of the Week, but uh, yeah, I just wasn't sure whether they'll make it or not. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Okay then, guys, let's get into my predictions. We're going to start off with another inform Rufier. This guy gets plenty of informs. I think he's going to get a blue card as well in the League 1 Team of the Season. We'll have to wait and see. He saved the penalty, made about six or seven saves in a nil-nil draw. Next up is this man, Kara Mboji of Anderlecht. He got himself a goal in a 2-0 win for Anderlecht against Ghent. The next defender is Sergio Ramos. Now, I'm not too confident about this one, but um, there were not too many La Liga candidates this week. And Sergio Ramos put in a pretty good performance against Real Sociedad. So who knows, maybe he will get the inform. I'm going to go for it. We could see inform Sergio Ramos this week. Maxwell is the final defender in my starting 11. PSG are definitely going to have an inform this week. It was a toss up between Maxwell and Cavani. And Maxwell got the higher match rating. So that's why I've gone for him. He got a goal in a 4-0 win for PSG against Rene. On to the midfield then, we've got West Ham favourite Mark Noble, who scored twice in West Ham's 3-0 win against West Brom. The next midfielder is Shinji Kagawa, who got a goal and an assist in Dortmund's 5-1 win against Wolfsburg. And then next to him, we have Saudi Omane, who scored a hat-trick for Southampton against Manchester City in a 4-2 win. We will definitely be seeing in for Mane in this week's Team of the Week. Switching to the other wing now, we have Oleg Shatov of Zenit St. Petersburg. He got two goals and an assist in a 4-1 win against, I think it's Kuban Krasnodar. So a pretty good performance and a decent looking in form. Moving back centrally now, we have this man whose last name I have no idea how to pronounce. And seriously, my best guess is something like Booty Boo, so... Yeah, I'm absolutely terrible with names. Not sure how to pronounce this guy, so if you know, let me know in the comments. Anyway, he got himself three assists in a 3-2 win, and I believe it would be a second in form. And the card, to be honest, looks pretty good. On to the strikers now. We have former Arsenal and Manchester United striker Robin Van Persie, who um, got himself two goals and an assist in a 3-0 win for his side. Joining him up top is this man, Slimani, whose card will be freaking insane and soon he will get a team of the season card as well which is going to be absolutely incredible this week Slimani scored twice in a 3-1 win for his side against Porter so guys that is my prediction for the start in 11 let me know your thoughts in the comments below let's get on to the bench and reserves we start off with Carl Dowler of Newcastle he saved the penalty in Newcastle's 1-0 win against Crystal Palace and this card could potentially be a hero card Next to him is Byron Webster, who scored twice in a 3-0 win. Two goals for a centre-back, very impressive. So he should be featuring in this week's Team of the Week. Amin Yunez of Ajax could also be featuring. He got a goal and two assists in a 4-0 win for Ajax against FC20. Joe Bryan of Bristol City also could feature, and this in form would be pretty awesome. I believe he's normally a left-back. And in this game, I don't know if he played centre mid or left mid, but either way, if he gets the inform, it should be a position change card, which is great. He got a goal and two assists in a 4-0 win against Huddersfield. Daniel Gustafsson scored twice and got two assists in a 4-2 win for his side. And the same thing happened with this man, Mr. Muncy. He got two goals and two assists in a 4-0 win for his side. And then finally, we come on to a very good looking potential silver in for Martinez. I believe this guy had a bronze team of the season last year. But anyway, could get an inform this week. He got two goals in a 5-1 win against Udinese. On to the reserves then. We're going to start off with this goalkeeper whose last name... I have no idea how to pronounce Harodeki. I'm not too sure. Let's call him Lucas. We'll call him by his first name. He saved the penalty, made five or six other saves in a 2-1 win for his side. 
Jetro Willems could also feature this week. He got a goal and an assist in a 6-2 win for PSV. Next up is David Villa of New York City FC. He got two goals in a 3-2 win against Vancouver. And then we come on to this man, Andrea Ayew, who scored twice in Swansea's 3-1 win against Liverpool. And as you can see, it could be a very nice position change in form. I always like it when wingers get converted to strikers. The final player in my predictions this week is Eduardo, the former Arsenal striker. He got two goals in a 3-0 win against Dynamo Kiev. So guys, those are my predictions for this week's Team of the Week. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Not looking like the best Team of the Week overall, but there are some pretty good players in it. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Adios.